four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranchin here, playing Circle of Commentary. This is going to be the third set between Light and Effort in the Big Fall Missile Quarterfinals. This is going to be on Fighting Spirit at the bottom left hand corner playing in Teal. We're going to have Light as the turn player at the bottom right hand and corner. We're going to have Effort playing in Z playing Zerg, of course, in Orange. Fighting Spirit, wahey! Well, Good old favorite friend of ours, which means we're going to have, uh, in more likelihood, if the if, if the guys decide to go standard, which is, you know, 90% likely, we're going to see some very standard TVZ stuff, so basically the first 10 minutes will be... <laughs> Nah, something like that. <laughs> and then it will start getting exciting. But yeah, 1-1, one, one, uh, even a piece. White, I believe, unfortunately managed to completely ruin his advantage in the other set. In the other set by playing way too conservatively uh, early on after some nice aggression to start off the game. And then he just kind of blew it defensively, was forced to constantly defend, defend, turtle, 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 and it just didn't end up too well for him, unfortunately. Doesn't seem like he's gonna go for a, a wall, just put a supply depot in there. And this is a 4-player map, so turn players often feel safe enough not to do so, and we might even see a 14cc from Light. Um, there's a possibility this is, of course, a 4-player map, and Zerg players tend to go for 12 hatches, which with nothing happening, uh, we might be seeing that from effort on the opposite side. He likes to go for 12 hatches on this map just to get his macro game going as fast as possible. And it uh, does seem like that. Yeah, exactly. We're going to be seeing that. on the opposite side. Still, one barracks coming up, so it does seem like Light's probably going to go for that 14, for that 14 CC. Going to try to get that economic edge going. You do see turn players like a few years ago. This was this was insane. This was insanity. 14 CC. Never mind what map it is. 14 CC against a Zerg player was absolute insanity. You're crazy. You're mad. You need to go to a mental hospital. You need some drugs. You're drinking. Something was wrong with you. You know, if you went for 14 CC against a Zerg player, because Zerg players played a lot more aggressively. Was that an evolution chamber? I hope I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a spawning pool. Yeah, I just saw him trying something out, going from Evo chamber. That was funky. On the opposite side, light does go for uh, 14 CC. And I am sorry if people get annoyed with me saying stuff like opposite side. It's just one of those things that I say always. <laughs> I think there's one or two more of those things that you know I repeat and constantly say and if that annoys people I'm sorry it's one of those things that are just etched inside of your brain and you can't really change them. SCVs, no okay, just the uh, SCV going out to put on supply depot, thought maybe the scout was coming up, just gonna put on supply depot, make a blockade, probably gonna put a bunker there at the first possible opportunity, excuse me. SCV coming off the line for light just at the right time when he was expecting the drone to come in. Drone spotting that quickly for uh, for effort, but he's not really going to be able to do much uh, at all against this because I think Light will be able to put down a bunker right after the supply depot comes down. Probably going to send out a scout first, but should be seeing a bunker at the front soon enough. Drone, significantly damaged, but still trying to be annoying. And of course, the thing with drones is that they do regenerate health. Two rags coming in. Uh, general follow-up. 214 CC put down two barracks as quickly as possible. You can start producing troops for defensive purposes. On the opposite side, we did see a production hatchery being put down inside of the main. The CV's coming off the line now for Light to start mining. And the drone going to be forced back. A couple of Zergans going to come out for effort. Doesn't seem like he's going to play aggressive. Just going to try to be continue to be annoying with this drone, but I don't really think that's going to last for much longer. Zergans, Zergans aren't going to come in. We're going to see how annoying they're going to be. Refinery up on the way. So this time, though, it does seem like it's just going to be more of a standard game. Does seem like Light's just gonna go for Medic Marine. He might eventually transition into Mech. Do, does seem popular for turn players these days. Bunker gonna be put at the front. Only two Marines in there, but I think that with the SCVs to support, they should be uh, enough to force back those Zerglings as long as they don't pick off the SCV. Putting on the Bunker drone on the opposite side on that. See, said that again. Drones on efforts ramp uh, so that the SCVs can't, can't get up and get some scouting. I mean, most really just be annoying. Went up the ramp, it's bottom marine there, decided, eh, rather not. Almost taken out an SCV there, but our, that Zergling is going to be assassinated very soon. Bye, Bob. Bob the Zergling. Rip. Here lies Bob the Zergling. He lived only for about a minute. Oh, well. So, Marines, dangerously close to the Lord, might even be able to pick it off. Academy, meanwhile, coming up, so we're going to be seeing some medics coming up here as well. Creep Colony being put at the front from effort already. He wants to play safe. He's not really, he doesn't really have many Zerglings out there, if any. So, he's being kind of wary of a possible attack, and he doesn't really have a 
perfect scout on it, knows that the Marines are kind of out milling around outside of the base on top of the bridge here and has overwards running into position so he can scout for possible future expansions. Has his lair meanwhile up and does seem like he's going to be planning on his spire. Just a standard three hatch muta for him to counteract and he is going to want to expand fairly soon the opposite side. See, he did it again. <laughs> Engineer Bay going to come up for white. But I think Effort is going to want to expand fairly quickly, and we're going to see how aggressive he's going to try to play. I don't really think he's going to be able to break the front. Too many Marines are th uh, there, even with speed on his Zerglings. I think there are too many Marines. Just as long as Light manages to keep everything safe, because the Zerglings still could manage a run-by with speed. There is, There are still openings to do that. Go behind the Minerals on the left side of the Supply Depot, I think, maybe. Uh, additional bags going to come out, but Effort is always a danger. Uh, with run by, so you got to be very careful. Uh, Light they're already stimming up and putting stuff inside the bunker. You got to be very careful. Might even want to move out a little bit, kind of spread his marines around, take a few pot shots at the Zorgan with with stim in play. Should actually be able to run back. Also has firebats coming up. Very smart play. Firebats would really help him hold down. Just plant a firebat on the ramp just in case. I Meanwhile, he's actually running out Zerglings. Doesn't seem like Effort's going to go for a run by just trying to catch those marines out in the open with the firebat at the front. Though it's going to be a little bit hard. Firebat, of course. Gonna take the initial hit, it's gonna get caught in the open, no Marines gonna come in to back up. Oh man, critical stim there, want to keep that Firebat alive. Because the Marines do the do damage, but the Firebat is such an important factor. Just a Firebat or two against a large Zergling group can do it. Uh, two Firebats with one Medic supporting them, uh, even two Medics supporting them especially, that's just right there, can pick off almost a control group of Zerglings. Seen it done before, just as long as you micro it well, it can. it is very much possible, although I think a little hard against Effort Zergling micromanagement. Uh, I think you can have that firebed kind of milling around close to Effort's base. Didn't quite spot that out. Okay, yeah, he is actually moving across the map. Oh man, that is one, one critical firebed. One Zergling gonna <laughs> try to run by, get killed by flamethrowers, but one firebed is gonna go up all the way to the upper right position, follow that drone, and kill it before it manages to do anything. Let's see, Mutalist Mutal now out for Effort. Uh, so. We're going to see what the White has the turrets up and ready. I haven't really seen his home position, so he should have some turrets out there. Want to be careful with these medic marine grouping that he has very close to the middle, so Mutalists might want to abuse those. Uh, you don't want to have a small medic marine group just across the middle because Mutalists have a lot more open room to work with. I think meanwhile putting in a lot of sunken colonies instead of his natural expansion, working on Hydrogen right now, so he's going to transition into Lurker, so it's very standard play, although he is trying to expand again, I believe, at that upper right-hand position. Uh, where's the firebat was? Well, don't see the firebat at this point. I think he might have actually engaged the Zerglings because one of them is damaged, although that could have been the Zerg group earlier, so could explain that as well. Mutal is going to come inside of a light space, and turrets are nowhere to be seen. SCVs are going to go away, <laughs> run off, cry for mommy. Where are the Marines? Marines are on the opposite side attacking, and there's no way they're going to be able to do anything here. White uh, actually going to go for it. What? Five sunken colonies in play, and White's gonna go for it. I'm not exactly sure what he's thinking, but he has a fairly large number, so he might actually manage to lose because the Mutalists are not in play. Nothing else to defend. Drones are gonna come off the line. Zerukis being more perfect. This is gonna be both players rushing each other. Drones coming off the line. Most of the sunken colonies go down. Firebats have gone down this point, but way too many Marines still in here. Mutalists gonna be forced to fly back, so nice move here from White. Actually going for this attack. Mutalists has a few reinforcements coming back home, so if the Mutalists fly back, if this attack falls at the front, he's still gonna have something, but he needs to come out of this. Uh, with some damage done. He took down all the sunken colonies, he's taken down some overlords, but he doesn't have that large number. He has to get something done. He's picked up a lot of drones, though. So even if he does manage to put down the hatchet, which I don't think he's going to manage to do, he's killed a lot of drones. Just get a few more, maybe. He's finally going to lose all of his forces here, but killed a lot of drones, killed all the defenses. So now Light's going to be, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Effort's going to be forced to put down even more defenses here at the front. If he wants to defend again, he has no saturation. Meanwhile, now Light's scanning the main. Knows that Lurkers could be on the way as well. Now, <laughs> although I doubt that because Effort, a significant uh, economic damage done to him right there. Don't think Effort's really going to be able to get some Lurkers going. He just needs to focus on what he has right now. Has some Zerglings out there, has some Mutalisk, and he's meanwhile forced, uh, uh, cancelled. The expansion he was going to put up at the upper right hand position. He needs every single resource he needs right now to put some for uh, to get some forces going. Mutalists are going to fly inside of light space. There was a turret that they did manage to get down, but the mu Marines are in position. The Mutalist number is significantly damaged. Medic Marines at this point with weapons, one upgrades as well, are going to be enough to fight back these Mutalists. Unfortunately, Effort is going to try to get some lurkers out there, but I don't know if this is going to be enough. 
His natural is very vulnerable. That drone <laughs> canceling the hatch with the upper right hand just to go all the way to the natural and try to get some more mining going effort. I don't even think he's going to bother to try to saturate. Just going to try to get as many forces out there as far as, po as quickly as possible. Just going to try to go for an all in bust at the front. Going to have six, I'm sorry, seven lurkers to support this. A few zerglings and the mutalisk. So it's going to be basically all or nothing for him. Flying in with the mutalisk yet again, losing three on the three of them on entry. They're going to be able to get some free hits, and he's just trying to distract the Mini Greens from the front where the Lurkers are going to be coming in. Lurkers going to burrow on the burrow on the bridge. One of them goes down before he manages to do anything. Uh, I think there were seven Lurkers, actually. I think some are still lacking from behind. Lurkers going to try to find a position, but no Zerglings to support. These Lurkers are open season. Some Zerglings coming in from the back with one Lurker to support, but this is going to be enough. Light doing a beautiful job of splitting up his Marines to fight this back, and effort in a significant amount of trouble at this point trying to force as many forces out as possible but he has what two mutalisks in a group few zerglings lurkers a light working on continuous troop production for what four barracks has a lot of medics out there and working on a tank as well actually killing his own supply depot to give himself a little bit more maneuverability just so he can move that tank out um, but with that tank out there that's going to be a lot of damage and the medic greens actually when you have mar medics the same number of the marines that's actually pretty insane but yes the effort not getting any saturation going just trying to go for this attack here because he knows even if he tries to play economic game he really is very far behind economically because he really hasn't accomplished much economic damage at all he did go inside the main did kill some SCVs but Wyatt has you know resaturated he's got everything back going again and effort at two base, you know, playing two base against two base, effort knows that he has to go in there, kill a base to really do anything. But the science vessel at this point is out. That's going to spot the lurkers. He's going to be able to push out and contain is no longer there. Effort's last ditch effort will be try to go for a pincer attack across the middle. I just don't think he even has enough forces for that. Constant scans are coming off from light he just trying to keep a constant control of positioning to constantly know where his opponent is there are some more workers out in the field but i just don't think that effort's going to be able to do much he has all of his forces moving into the left side right now so he's kind of hoping to get a pincer going but light is steps ahead of him at all times and Light knows he doesn't have to do any expanding or anything like that. Lurker's actually even defending Effort's main at this point across the bridge. Has all of his drones inside the main because he's very, his next expansion very vulnerable, very weak. Uh, SCV's even coming kind of coming around there, scouting everything out, making sure what's happening. Making sure he's not vulnerable. And if Light should go for a frontal attack, Effort going to go for an attack at the natural yet again. A little bit more open position here. Two bunkers. They're still in there, though. So digging a lot, getting a lot of fire. The supply depot spotting the lurkers. So the Zerglings and the lurkers going to break the front. But the damage that's going to be done on the opposite side of Light knows, hey, I just have to float up my, my base, go to his base, and kill everything. And there's going to be GG momentarily. Uh, effort trying to put down second colony is on top of his ramp. He's going to force a f might force a float, but I think with these marines and firebed coming in here with supply that science vessel in there. Yeah, never mind. Natural expansion of perfectly safe. Uh, well, actually, it is going to be safe the second that worker goes down, but still, he's not going to lose too much economically. Back at home, effort is in a lot of trouble. A siege tanks there on the low ground. They're going to be able to siege on top of the high ground. There are some workers in there in second colonies, but still, Light's going to be able to fight this back. And there's no threat to his own main now. Some Scourge coming into play, but that's just resources that Effort could be using to something else. One irradiate on top of the Lurkers, but just no chance for Effort in hell. So he does GG, in fact. Nice play here from both players. And White going for very, very big attack. I kind of underestimated the amount of forces he had at that point. Thought he had a little less, but he went for that attack. Facing nothing but sunken colonies. That was a critical part. Drones were forced off the line. If, if Effort had had some forces back home to support, he should have actually been able to maybe fight that back. But unfortunately, that was not the case. So Light takes it 2-1. So we're going to see which way it goes, guys. GG, wrenching out. This is listening. Hope you enjoy it.